In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on June 14, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 2 betting picks a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Baltimore Orioles vs. Toronto Blue Jays A pair of teams from the American League East continue their early week series on the diamond north of the border. The Baltimore Orioles are on the road as they play the second game of a four-game series with the Toronto Blue Jays Tuesday night. Baltimore earned a split of their four-game road set with the Royals, winning the finale 10-7 Sunday afternoon. Toronto blanked Detroit 6-0 in the rubber game of their three-game series Sunday afternoon on the road. The Blue Jays are 10-3 in their last 13 games versus a right-handed starter and are 13-4 in their last 17 overall. The Blue Jays are 39-13 in their last 52 home games versus a team with a losing record. The Orioles are 63-129 in their last 192 overall and are 58-120 in their last 178 games as an underdog. The Orioles are 30-62 in their last 92 Tuesday games. Baltimore starting pitcher Jordan Lyles has been roughed up in each of the last four starts allowing 31 hits and 18 runs in only 21 innings pitch. Baltimore lost three of those four starts. Toronto has the overall better production at the plate and on the mound, as the Blue Jays have the sixth best team ERA and are fifth best in team batting average. In contrast, Baltimore is 22nd in team ERA and the Orioles are 25th in team batting average. The Blue Jays have won 45 of the last 64 against Baltimore and 88 of the last 128 played at home against the Orioles. Toronto has a strong lineup led by Vladimir Guerrero Jr., George Springer and Bo Bichette who have combined for 36 home runs and 99 RBI, so the Toronto Blue Jays money line is our full game side pick. Baltimore has seen the undergo 31-27-3 on the season entering Monday. The Orioles are tied for 24th with an average of 4.03 runs per game. That drops down to 3.84 runs per game on the road on the season. Baltimore sees an average total of 8.69 runs per game this year, a number that edges up slightly to 9.07 runs a game on the road. Toronto has seen the under hit in 31 of their 59 games this season, with one push. Entering Monday's action, the Blue Jays are 13 in runs per game with 4.46 runs per contest, though that number drops to 3.39 runs per game at home this season. That is 16th in the majors when it comes to run production at home. Toronto's average total this season is 8.34 runs per game and that number climbs to 8.6 runs per game at home. Toronto has a solid team ER that is 6th best in baseball but the Toronto Blue Jays have the fifth best batting average and as a team have hit 73 home runs in 59 games. The total has finished over in five of the last seven games played between Baltimore and Toronto and in 18 of Baltimore's last 26 overall. Jordan Lyles is off to a rough start this month, allowing 17 hits and 10 earned runs in his last 10 innings. Yusei Kikuchi has had his struggles this month as well, allowing seven runs in his last 5.1 innings. Both offenses also head into this game swinging hot bats, with both pitchers leaving something to be desired. Look for this one to hit double digits on the scoreboard to wind up over the number. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Chicago White Sox vs. Detroit Tigers The Chicago White Sox take on the Detroit Tigers in an American League Central clash. This is the middle game of a three-game series at Comerica. The White Sox took the opener 9-5 behind a 15-hit attack. Jose Abreu put together a 3 out of 5 night with 2 home runs and 4 RBI. It's been a disappointing start for Chicago which is hoping to put forth their first consistent stretch of the season. They send Dylan Cease to the hill in this one to square off against Drew Hutchinson for Detroit. Both teams have been disappointing thus far as indicated by their current positioning in the American League Central standings. Despite a woeful output to this point, Chicago has started showing signs of life at the plate this week amassing an average of 8.2 runs per game over their last five contests. Look for them to stay hot against Drew Hutchinson and an assortment of Detroit relievers. Dylan Cease had a bad outing last time out against Los Angeles but has been sensational for the most part this season. He won't have any issues cruising through the lowest scoring team in the league. 
The White Sox are slowly improving going 3-0 in their last three road games, while Detroit is just 1-6 in their last seven at home. The good news is that Cease hasn't given up an earned run in any of his last three games over 16.1 innings. The bad news is that he's still 0-1 in that time and hasn't gone more than 4.2 innings in either of the last two starts. That said, Cease should be able to handle this Detroit lineup if he's on and Chicago should be in position to get a win if he can make it out through five innings or so. The White Sox have all sorts of issues they need to sort out if they are going to make a run at the playoffs, but still have enough to beat a bad Tigers team comfortably. So the Chicago White Sox money line is our full game side pick. On paper, these offenses just have not lived up to the billing putting fourth bottom five run outputs. With that said, Chicago appears to be finally rounding into form at the dish averaging 8.2 runs in their last five games. There is too much talent in this White Sox lineup for them to stay in the bottom tier all season. Look for more big nights on Tuesday from Jose Abreu, Lewis Robert, and Andrew Vaughn as the club looks poised to hang another crooked number. While C's shouldn't face much resistance on the other side have confidence in Chicago carrying most of this run total alone with the Tigers tack on a few runs along the way. With the blowout potential here, it's not side with a relatively modest over here. There are no data points suggesting to Hutchison having a productive outing here. While there is enough talent in the White Sox lineup for a blowout to happen, as six of nine hitters have a WRC plus of 112 or better. In that case, we could see Cease's workload monitored, with both teams leaning on their lower leverage relievers especially after both bullpens were utilized heavily in the first game of this series. There were 14 runs scored on Monday, and there will be a ton of scoring again in this game. The over is 4-0 in the last four White Sox games, and we will see more of the same in this one. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Milwaukee Brewers vs. New York Mets Milwaukee will try to hit the reset button after snapping an eight-game losing streak with a win over Washington on Sunday. The Brewers are traveling to New York for a three-game series with the National League East leading Mets beginning on Tuesday night. New York took two out of three against the Angels over the weekend, including a 4-1 to -one win on Sunday. The Mets were able to cap off all of the weekend action with their win on Sunday night baseball and enjoyed Monday off to travel back to New York. Although their crosstown rival Yankees had the best record in baseball, Ball. The Mets were the first National League team to 40 wins. Meanwhile, the Brewers have been struggling in a big way. They've lost their grip in National League Central, now having lost eight of their last 10 games. The situation for Milwaukee didn't get much better over the weekend, as Colton Wong will be out for at least a while longer. They narrowly avoided being swept on Sunday, but it was still not a good showing. They lost their series to a Nationals team in last place in their division and allowed 19 runs in the first two games of the series. That's about the worst situation for the Brewers as the Mets are the number one scoring team in baseball. With 316 runs, their lineup has been as consistent and powerful as it looks on paper. Despite being prone to getting hit by pitches more than even seems possible, they still get hits even more frequently. New York will certainly be excited about the matchup, as Milwaukee's Adrian Hauser was just lit up in his last start. He allowed five runs to the Phillies in what ended in a rough 10-0 loss. It also wasn't Hauser's only poor start recently. He also allowed eight runs in just four innings to the Cardinals at the tail end of May. Mets starter Chris Bassett hasn't been perfect, either, but he has the superior lineup to support him. So the New York Mets money line is our full game side pick. I have concerns about both starters, as Hauser has allowed 11 earned runs over his last three starts while Bassett has given up 10 earned runs in his last three appearances. Hauser is going to have trouble slowing down the top-hitting team in baseball on Tuesday. The Mets have gone over the total in 13 of their last 19 games. Milwaukee has been cashing the over as well, hitting that mark in four of its last five contests. The Brewers have continued to slide over their last two weeks, while the Mets have also struggled to string some wins together in their last few games. Hauser has a better ER than Bassett, but has allowed five earned runs in two out of his last three starts. Bassett it has struggled recently as well, allowing nine earned runs over his last two starts. With with two pitchers that are struggling to find their groove, there is no reason to think that these teams will not continue to go over the total, especially given the pitching matchup. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.